The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Kayla's scoliosis surgery and Lisa's kidney operation. Fifteen-year-old Kayla Kelly was born with spina bifida, a malformation of the spine that has left her paralyzed from the waist down. As a result, Kayla has developed scoliosis, a severe curvature of the spine that causes her pain and makes it difficult for her to sit in her wheelchair. Without surgery to straighten her spine, the scoliosis will become worse. Today, Kayla will undergo final testing to ensure she is healthy enough to endure the 12-hour surgery she needs to relieve her pain and continue the active life of a teenager. Okay, here we are. Let it work. Oh. Yucky. How big? Just a prick? Yeah. Mm? Uh, no, I'm afraid it's the whole thing. This isn't the fun part, is it? Okay. She has very tiny veins. She does. So the small veins is where, up yeah. here? Okay, there's a little one there. Okay, sweetheart. I'll hold you over still, right? So, do you want me to count to three? No, no don't count? Okay, don't move though, don't move. Anything okay. except to move, okay? All right. Oh no. Okay, here, one, two. We're done. Okay, it's done. All right, it's done. Okay, Anne. Oh man. Next is x ray. Can I kick the door open? Can you kick the door open? No, you cannot kick the door open. Yeah. Who's going to pull the legs? Uh, does mom, can mom do it? Sure. How are you doing? I'm Franco. I'm with orthopedics and Dr. Wright. We're going to pull on both your ends, okay? I smile for this exercise. You are, huh? You're going to smile for me? All right. Just relax. Just let everything go nice and loose, and we'll pull gently. Okay, don't move. Okay. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Breathe. Okay. Four-month-old Lisa Simmons has been diagnosed with hydronephrosis, a condition in which urine becomes blocked inside the kidney. found it on one of the, my ultrasounds. Actually, the first ultrasound, they said her kidney looked larger, and then they did a few more ultrasounds. If left untreated, Lisa could face painful and dangerous infections, and her mental and physical development could be impaired. Today, Lisa will undergo surgery in the hope that doctors can save her kidney before there is permanent damage. About 7.30, 20 to 8, you'll be going downstairs and meeting me and eat the test. Remember we were talking about that? And he'll tell you about um, the medicine they use to make Lisa go to sleep. Then they'll carry her in the operating room. And that's, you folks will wait down the hall. That's the hardest part. Fortunately for her, she won't, she'll just be interested in all the lights and yeah. what's going on. And the nurses will love you to bits down there. So for the surgery, just to remind you what we're going to do, first thing is, um, let's say it's the right kidney, okay, and here the, the segment going down to the bladder is very narrow here. So what we do is we remove the bad portion of it and we will suture this portion back here. So the kidney will be able to empty. Good. You know, yeah. we want to make sure that the kidney will empty downward. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay? Okay. Uh, See you later. Okay, uh, thanks. It's okay, Muffin. You'll see in a few hours. Mm -hmm. You're going to be tired, very sleepy. Oh. You're holding on tight. You got to go now, honey. Your mommy kiss. See you later. Your daddy kiss. Uh, uh, oh, okay, sweetheart. Uh, Come with me. Look at you. You're so happy. You're so happy. Oh, Michelle, drop it. Drop it.
Hi. Hi. Hello. Is this a reasonable time uh, for me? Sure. Great. Yeah, we need Good. to cut it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh -huh. I can see even today looking at her, she's substantially worse than the last and time she's I saw Today, perhaps because also she's tired, she's doing a lot more to the left leaning, mm -hmm. stretching, almost trying to stretch herself out. Yeah, I've noticed she's, uh, she's uh, yeah. come over quite a bit. So, we hope to get her pelvis level and her spine balanced and um, uh, get rid of. Um, make her sit nice and straight and restore her contour. So we start the procedure from the front. We remove the discs, that's the soft part in between the bones. And we put a small rod in place to straighten the spines. Then with you still asleep, you're put in a different position. And there's an incision from the back. Yeah. And uh, it's generally about that long. Then we uh, put the rod in from the back. And we use wires and usually a couple of screws to hold everything in place. I'll see you downstairs just before the uh, surgery again. So this pink, yeah, nice good. pink area here is the kidney. Okay. This is the fat over the kidney. Okay. So what we're going to do is remove the obstructed part, literally, and then attach the two big wide open areas back together again. Okay, can I have the tenotomy scissors back? So she has, uh, what, what we would do is just mark out to begin with what, what her actual problems are in her deformity. Mm -hmm. Most of her curvature is in the lumbar spine, and we'll need to put in pedicle screws at the bottom to, to lock in place because she's got no posterior elements. Right. So. Okay. And once we've got this open, we'll be able to feel inside and feel the ribs. I'm gonna just cauterize that. So the spine is there somewhere. So we're going to continue around till you see the spine. And here's the, so there's the spine there. We're exposing the vertebra and the discs. Then we'll start removing the discs, which are the soft tissue in between the vertebra. Okay, now I can see the disc right down there. See it right down at the base? See that soft little bulge? Usually it would open right up and we would go in and easily pull out the disc, but in her it's very, very narrow. So it's making it very difficult to get inside and, and remove the uh, disc. Okay, so we've opened the ureter, but we have to make the reattachment as wide as we can. That's a bad looking. That's pretty good. You ready to get a nice, generous. Five French feeding tube, please. Everything went, everything went very well. 
brain. Uh, we found exactly the area that was uh, narrow that was giving her kidney okay. a problem, so that's been removed. Mm -hmm. And then we brought the two ends uh, back together again. They came together nicely. We've also left a little plastic tube in there. It's called a stent. It goes from her kidney down through where we just worked all the way to the bladder. And it'll stay there for about six to eight weeks or so. Six and to eight weeks. About six to eight weeks while it heals. And then um, we'll bring her back here. We have to put her to sleep quickly and then we'll just go in from below into her bladder and take it out. Okay? Okay, well Great thank then. you very much. Good seeing you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Very good. Now you feel better? Yeah, yes. now I just want to see her. This is my today against Tonal. Getting the uh, pink color in the upper row right now. Right, it's going right through. Look at her. She looks so little. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet. Okay. What we're doing now is we've got the screws in all the vertebral bodies, and uh, we're going to take a rod, and then we're going to hook it up to all the uh, screws and see if we can't straighten out the spine. Now, what you do is you get your 3.2 drill, and then we're going to start to put some screws in. These are the x-rays before that show what she looked like when she was sitting, and this is the part that we've operated here on the lower part of the lumbar spine. Now, she still has curvature above that and a little bit below that. That's what we have to do the second procedure for. That's going to go in like that. Just push a bit more around, Bill. That's it. So we're just at the stage of uh, just have to turn these wires down and we start closing. And we're all done. Um, everything went fine. So um, we took an x-ray and everything's nicely lined up. Curves about 25 degrees. And so and it doesn't, that's, that's the best you can expect it to get. Oh, yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. But you, when you look at her, you won't, uh, yeah. you won't notice uh, much curvature from the back. And you'll see that hollow is much, much better. It's not perfect but it's much much better okay okay thanks okay. doctor okay good Take see you later then bye bye she's okay yes she's okay yep. uh, that's for mom and dad. Uh, 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 uh. A bit of pain, so we've just given her another. We started more uh, 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 I know you do, sweetheart. You just lay like this for now. No. They're gonna ask the doctor. Don't worry. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. So after surgery, how was it when you were back home? She Excellent. was great. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So the plan today, once she's asleep, very quick surgery. We use a small camera. We go in the bladder. You see the small catheter we left in place on the right side after the surgery. Just grab it with a small grasper. We go out and we're done. Okay, good. Great. Okay. Yeah. See you later. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Bye. Small scope, a bit less than three millimeter in diameter. Quite 
outside. There's the catheters out. And we're done. Oh, those are the cute. She got her eyes open. Hello. Hi. So we removed the little stent. It went very well. And we'll see you, what, September 5th? Yes. Yeah. With the ultrasound. Right. Okay? Okay. We're expecting improvement of that kidney. Oh, thank okay. you very much. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, that's great, eh? Yeah. Wow. That's good. She won't even know anything happened. No. That's good. <laughs> There's the girl. There's the girl. You know what, it's not the easiest thing to get into a chair for the first time, and I'm not going to lie to you, it'll probably feel kind of sore, but it's a step that you've got to take. Now you put your arms on your chest like this, okay, it's just as much as you can. It's in the middle, so that she doesn't go over there. Okay. Excellent, thank you. Okay. You're going to take nice deep breaths. Excellent, One, good two, girl. Three. Lots of gauze under the tape, so you'll just feel the a little tiny bit of tape pulling your skin, okay? So you just feel the tape pulling a little bit. There you go. Ow, three, out, okay. done. It's all done. done. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's all done. Wow. Can you hold it? What would you prefer? And she's eating okay? And yeah, she likes that? to eat. Good. Uh, we, uh, we looked at her ultrasound and then her dilation has come down quite significantly. So basically we'll just continue to follow her with some ultrasounds uh, right. for a little while. And uh, as long as she's doing well and not having any yeah, you know, know. appetite problems no. or, or fevers or infections or anything, that should be fine. No. Okay. So far, so good. All right, so I'll see you in about uh, six months. We'll six do another months. ultrasound in okay. about six months. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. Thank you for Four months after surgery, Lisa has fully recovered. Lisa's kidney will continue to be assessed by ultrasound, but doctors are optimistic she will continue to do well. This is your spine, which comes up and curves like that, and then you had a little bit of a tiny curve up there. And then this is the little rod that goes in the front of your spine. Oh. Yeah, it is nuts and bolts. Oh. Huh. And then this is the rod that goes in the back. Okay, can you bend forward for me? Yeah. Okay. Well, you certainly healed up quite nicely. Yeah. Good. So, so we're okay with the, the legs? Yeah, um, they can be. And they're actually relaxing a bit. What she just needs to avoid now is uh, twisting and turning for another six weeks or so. Okay. 
So I like sign transfers and things like that. Okay. And no Where sports. And no only sitting in the pool. Riding. No horseback riding. Oh, no boating. I really wanted to go. Are you happy? Happy. Do you like the way you look? And are you happy with the way you're sitting? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> now that Kayla has had her surgery, she continues to grow stronger and is no longer at risk of becoming debilitated by scoliosis. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Hi. Kayla's spine is straight and she can once again be active in her wheelchair without suffering from pain. Uh-oh. <laughs> On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Peyton's brain surgery. Thank <laughs> you.